I stood in Mr. Pierce's kitchen because I do not have a printer and I do not have a scanner. And I stood in Mr. Pierce's kitchen on December 29th when he was kind enough to print out the uh, engagement letter for me. He stood in his kitchen and watched me sign that letter and date it. I gave him an original copy. I kept an original copy. And I mailed the third original. He emailed it to him on the computer. You, you, he scanned and emailed, but I mailed the original to Concord, December 29th. 2016. That's right. So now that was be the week between. Well, it was the week between Christmas and New well, that's Year's. That's not what Attorney. Gould it was saying. a delightful week to be doing this. He told, he told Attorney. Uh, they. Uh, Gerald, wait, that it Michael. Wasn't that, uh, Mike. Was agreed on the 29th, as he said in his emails, and you can look at him if you want. Michael, I did look at him. Michael, wait a minute. Uh, the following weekend. <coughs> was New Year's weekend, and, and everything was closed on Monday because of New Year's. So when Attorney Gould's staff got in Tuesday, they shot, the, the retainer should have gone with the engagement letter. Why it didn't, I don't know. But they sent then the retainer, okay. our, uh, yeah, uh, invoice. invoice. And when it came through dated the 3rd, I said, gee, that should have been dated the same day. Those two should have come simultaneously. It's the week between Christmas and New Year's, and I don't know what the attorney's staff was doing, but somebody neglected to put that invoice the next week. But the engagement letter was signed in Mike's presence in his kitchen. Right. On December 29th. So you're erroneous. 